In this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to assemble a four foot tall chain link fence gate. We have these kits in four, five, and six foot heights with any width that you need. In your gate kit, you will have a set of uprights, the horizontal bars, chain link, your tension bands, self-tapping screws, gate rods, tension band screws, a latch, your gate female hinge, and either J-bolts or a wraparound hinge. If you do not have a drill press, then you can't use the J-bolt hinges. J-bolts are nice because they are adjustable, but the wraparound hinges are really easy if you don't have that. For the tools, you'll just need pliers, a marker, and bolt cutters. For your uprights, notice that there's a top and a bottom. The bottom is cut flush with the peg. The top has one inch and that holds your cap. Here you just insert the rails into your uprights. You're gonna measure over one inch and three inches on each side. Now you're gonna get your self-tapping screw. You don't have to pre-drill the metal. This will cut through it. You will have to use a little bit of force. When you're screwing into the frame, make sure that everything's square and level too so your frame doesn't end up tweaked. So that's the only complaints that we've had is people putting them in out of, out of square or out of level. Somehow the bit just gets off and then it'll tweak the frame. So really make sure that you're putting them in straight and that your, your frame is square on a flat surface when you're putting those in. Now you're gonna cut the gate rods. Just put it flush on the bottom and then you're gonna make a mark flush with the top rail. Get a bolt cutter and just cut them on your marks. Now you're gonna put your tension bands on. For a four foot gate, it gets three bands, five foot, four bands, six foot, five bands. So it's one under the height of your fence. Bend it out, put them on. If you notice, there was a, a flat side and a rounded side. The flat side is going to finish with the pretty side of your chain link. So for this gate, the chain link's gonna be on the top surface. Now it's time for the chain link. Get your gate rod, put the cut in towards the bottom of the gate, thread it through the chain link. Now we're gonna line up the bands about four inches from the top, four inches from the bottom, middle band goes in the middle. I like to keep the bands close to the top and the bottom so they don't bend. Now it's time to figure out where we need to cut the chain link so we can stretch the fence. This looks about good right here. We're just gonna test it. So I'm gonna run the rod through the chain link and then I'm gonna squeeze it and make sure that bar passes where the bolt is gonna go through. If it's really hard to squeeze that and you get to that point by hand, that's gonna be tight enough. Now I'm just gonna cut out the link, cut both ends, and then we're just gonna weave it out. Now that it's cut, I'm gonna test it, and this looks good and tight. Like I said, when you squeeze it with both hands, you should barely be past where the bolt's gonna go in. I'm gonna get those bolts in. Once you get the nuts and bolts on, then your chain link is gonna be stretched. Tighten all your nuts and bolts. Now it's time to trim off the excess chain link from the bottom of the gate. Your gates are always shorter than your fence so you'll have enough room for it to hang. I'm gonna cut just one knuckle off. And this is gonna be standard for any. So you're just gonna go right at the head of the knuckle and then cut, you can cut with pliers or bolt cutters. And then again, you can see right at the end of that knuckle is where I'm cutting. The first one, I went a little bit lower because it was a single. I'll bend that piece over. And then we're gonna finish these off by knuckling those with the pliers. And then you'll just repeat the steps of cutting and knuckling the bottom of the chain link. 
Put the tie wire through the knuckle as shown. Crimp the end with your pliers. Bend it through and make sure you get one solid twist to tie it off. This is a three foot gate so it'll get two ties on the top, two ties on the bottom. Generally you're going to have those about a foot and a half apart. Place the dome caps on top of the gate and give it a little tap with your pliers so they stay on secure. Now it's time to hang the hardware. If you have a post wrap around hinge it will go just like so. If you use a J-bolt it works the same way but the J-bolt just goes through your post. Again you need to have a drill press if you get J-bolts. But I highly prefer J-bolts over the post wrap arounds because then your gate is adjustable. Now it's time to hang the latch. Notice the bottom portion of the latch can hold a master lock. And then we'll put the latch on the frame towards the upper portion of the gate. And that's it. There's your finished gate. That is a strong, heavy duty gate and you don't have to have welding skills to do it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you'd like to buy one of our kit gates, visit wholesalevinylfencing.net.